Hello everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. Thank you so much for joining us today. I did the wrong thing and thought I would do a little tiny tribute to Jasper. And I've just been looking at photos and it was a really big boo-boo because now I want to have a big teary. Thank you so much to everyone uh, who sent kind words and love um we lost our little boy jasper on sunday and he's left a very big hole in our heart so it's been quite a challenging week this week um yeah it's just very different around the house very very quiet he was a very demanding little boy always wanted food constantly oh thank you i know lots of you have lost your fur babies and i tell you what i have true empathy now because i thought i knew but you just don't know until it happens to you so but i'm just very relieved that bella is doing really well she'll probably pop in a bit later and say hello she's got her woody on she's getting spoilt rotten but not too much because we don't want her to get anxious. So we're trying to keep her routine and, yeah, keep everything the same. But um, I know it's so sad. It's so sad. I was just looking at these pictures here and he's just such a little cutie. This was my favourite one. He's got his little arm on me. I'll just turn down the, um, the brightness so that you can see it properly little little munchkin so he just um let me see if it'll zoom there we go there's little jasper so he just on sunday it was actually during the online stamping retreat you probably for those of you that went along he just wasn't feeling right just had a bit of tummy pain i thought oh He's probably a bit constipated or got a bit of wind or something like that. It didn't seem anything major. He just looked uncomfortable. Like he wasn't crying or so I kind of tried to settle him even during online stamping retreat. And I thought, oh, something's not quite right here. Not to the point where I thought I had to go to the vet or anything like that. But after the retreat finished, I thought, Bruno's like, just go, just go just in case because we we're going to wait until Monday morning. But, um, yeah, he had fluid on his heart and the vet said he's got fluid around his bladder as well and more than likely it's fast-acting cancer of the heart. So very, very quick. And, look, it's everything I've always, always hoped in the sense that I didn't want him to be in pain. I didn't want it to be like a really awful tragedy because I think that would just be so traumatic and I feel for all of you who've gone through, you know, an accident with your fur baby or something like that. And it was just nice that we were able to catch it in time so that he could just go to sleep and not be in any pain. So, yeah, very sad. Hmm. Thank you all very much. But yes, we miss him terribly. But at the same time, we've never slept better because <laughs> he was so cheeky. <laughs> it's his character that we miss. Oh, little Jet. Yes, it's so hard to lose our little fur babies. But anyway, Bella's going to be absolutely spoilt rotten. We're going to go away for our 20th anniversary and we picked um, a beach that's probably about an hour or so away because we were looking forward to taking both of them to the beach so now it's just little Bella so it'll be a nice time for all of us to have a little bit of grieving and a bit of time to reset to the new normal which is a bit strange a bit strange for Bella I think this morning she just it was the first morning I thought oh yeah she's not quite herself today I think she knows yeah I think she knows something's not right but it takes a little while to figure it out but she's doing good, so that's that's really nice. And big thank you to everyone, too, on um, our congratulations for the year. We cannot believe it. Unbelievable. But you know what? Ranking doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us because at the end of the day, we just love to craft with you and we love to show you how you can use the supplies that you have in your craft room and 
how you can get to share what you make with other people. That is the key thing. I know we've had some cards arrive, and actually I will go and get them in a moment, but we had some cards arrive already for Jasper and giving us, you know, love. And I tell you what, it just means so much to know that someone has taken the time to write a card, to send it. It's just so beautiful, so loving. So please make sure that not only are you creating cards, but you're also sending them to all of your friends as well. Oh, bugger lugs. Yes, it's true, isn't it? Yep. Sometimes it is the best thing for them. I know. <laughs> yes, she will get through it. Oh, Cassie, there's so many things, isn't there? And Shazla's four of your dogs. Oh, that's too hard. Yes, and the goodbye was awful, but I thought it's kind of nice in a way that we get that time with him. I got cuddles with him in the car, and it was just really nice to have a proper goodbye. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. All I care about is that you like crafting with us. <laughs> I don't care about the number one. I don't even care if we're number 100. Let's just craft together. <laughs> Thank you all very much. So today I thought I would highlight, because I'm not sure if you're aware, you will be in a moment, but online stamping retreat has opened up the vault, people. The vault is open, but very limited time. So do not delay. In fact, I'm pretty sure... It's going to be very, very soon, like within the next day or so, that will probably shut the option of purchasing our past retreats. We had a lot come to the event and absolutely loved it. It was such a success. We had so many great, um, all, all very positive. There was just one person that gave us a little bit of, um, feedback but it wasn't a negative it was just some really great tips that I had already thought of myself so I was very appreciative of this person giving us their thoughts and some tips to improve it um, you like that screen change do you Charlotte it's a bit clever isn't it thank you very much <laughs> um, so yes if you missed out and you are having FOMO the fear of missing out then now is the time to scan this QR code or head over to onlinestampingretreat.com. Head over there and you can get any of the four retreats that we have done already. And you can even wait list for the one coming up. And yeah, make sure you go and get it. So we've had a lot of our new timers. They went back, back and purchased the previous three. And you'll have unlimited access. You'll get it forever. So why not? And I know I'm still like going back and watching previous ones. In fact, that's what we're doing today. Um, the whole idea of online stamping retreat is to use the 3D project. We've done fun folds the whole time. We didn't realize, but it really is a fun fold retreat. Um, but very simple style of fun folds. Bryn has done fun, fun folds in the past that are quite complicated, but um, they're ones that you can spend time on and really like some of Bruno's ones are like a day event in themselves. <laughs> so go back and get them um, because they will keep you busy for a long time. If you're needing an epic project, you're going to get it. But then if you want some simple fun folds, then within the same event, I've got some simple fun folds. The one that I'm doing today is a little bit more of the complicated ones, but I'm going to break it down so that it's not as difficult because, you know, some things can look intimidating, but when you have the instructions and you've got a video, it's actually not so bad after all. Oh, very good, Kathy. I hope you get them. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Look at you. If you don't have them, run. Get them now. They're fantastic fun folds. Good. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Um, we have a lot of fun putting them together. So now anything else I need to share with you? I will share the video class bundle, but I'll do it um, halfway through as well. But just if you want to scan that and get our 
video class. It's 12 classes for $22 and you get lifetime access to these as well. And you can see the pictures there. There's some really fun projects for you to enjoy there and 12 different people. So that's great. Oh, I'm so glad Polly's posted several of her projects from the past retreat. So that's a, actually a really good point that Polly makes. If you wanted to go over to, um, I'll actually show the screen here so that you can get an idea. If you go over to Online Stamping Retreat on Facebook, we have a Facebook page. We also have an Instagram page. But the Facebook page is great because we have... Um, let me move all those out of the way. And let's do a share screen. There we go. Um, so this is our view, so it might be a little bit different to what you see, but it will give you the idea that you can go over here and you'll see multi-tiered panel card and it won't be the actual one that we made at the event however people have put their tiered cards can you check out this one people oh my goodness sorry <laughs> she's so amazing she's on our team and she's just done such a brilliant job of this card so if you want to know how to make this pop-out multi-tiered panel card, well, you're going to need to go over and get the online stamping retreat session two that we've just done, and then you'll be able to make these amazing, amazing cards yourself. Look at this. Tiered, layered, and it is surprisingly easy, this one. So that's just Bruno's. We had a jewel one that we did together which is just absolutely epic. There's, there's Sarah's version, and we're actually going to be using this step set today. I oh, got inspired by Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. I went, oh, that's totally how I'm going to use the whales, because Bruno told me I'll never use them. He bought them, and he's like, what did you even get them for? You're never going to use them. Oh, yes, I am. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so come over to Online Stamping Retreat, check that out, and yeah, then you can get some inspiration from others as well as use our event as well. So it's just the gift that keeps giving. That's what I feel. It just keeps going because it's not about the products. Everyone asked us what products are you using? Doesn't matter. You just use what you've got on hand. What have you got in the cupboard? Just do that. <laughs> yes, I know. It was very strange seeing you pop up as a customer, Caitlin. I was like, Caitlin is ordering as a customer. I've been a demo for so long, but I'm glad that you're you're still crafting. That makes me very happy. And it's not goodbye, it's see you soon. We know we'll see you back at the Crazy Crafters. Can't help yourself. You just gotta come back. <laughs> now today's project is a bit of fun. Um should I give you a sneak peek of the project I made originally? It's a no from Bruno. Oh, you'll just have to buy it to go see it. This is from, what session was this one, Bruno? I think, one. Which one? Session one. Oh, session one. Oh, I think you're right. Session one. So let's dive in. Let's do a deep dive because I've got, Part, you know, true Kylie form. You know, we're all friends here. Grab your Fevergino. This is nice chill time. We're going to craft together. They did, Kylie. Get your Fevergino ready because we're going to have a bit of a play. And I think I've got the design, but the decorating is yet to be discovered. It's It's in here. I did get up early today, but, you know. Early is never enough. I'm never early enough. So to start with, if you have the tutorial already, you will know the measurements. If not, you can head over and get the measurements. So all I've done to begin with is just your normal card, and it needs to be this side because I'm going to do landscape. So cut your cardstock in half. I'm not going to give measurements because I want you to go and get the tutorial. I know, I mean, but you're going to thank me later. And then I've chopped up 
I've actually used the, surprisingly, this is the perfect beach scene because we're going to be using, it's delightful floral people. I just, I'm shocked. So this beautiful one here, which is on our online exclusives, absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you get it before it sells out. And I'm using the paper from there that looks like ocean. It's pretty peacock and it really is so, so pretty. I know it's really scary chopping the other side, but it's not too sad to chop that. I think if there were flowers, I'd be a little bit more depressed about chopping them. But I've cut all of those and I'm going to stick these down in here. This front panel, I had some ideas here of what I'm going to do. But that one, the inside panel, definitely I want to be like so. So let's stick those down. The front panel, what I feel like I want to do, I want to do a little bit of a Alaskan landscape. Um, because Bruno did show me those beautiful tree dyes. Ooh, yes, that's a good one, Bruno, because there's some really pretty colors here what else have we got in the background of this paper oh yes there's the that could almost be like if you'd stamped it with trees it could be like a, a forest in the background oh this is a nice sky look at that sky it's actually the perfect sky so yes i felt like i could do a bit of a Alaska with like beet, like water, and then to cover up the landscape, I can just put a few trees, and then we can do some a whale popping out. And yeah, we'll use this stamp set here. I've got some trees here that I pulled out of the cupboard, that's as far as I went, but I think I'll use the dies. But I've got all of these great stamp sets that I thought you know, any of these would look really pretty when you're doing like an under the ocean type scene which this card definitely lends itself to like a seascape type thing i did form the event i you'll actually get another one that i did using the boats and oh my goodness it's one of my favorite cards i've ever done and it's a ship similar exactly the same mechanism but i've used this um, these products here and I thought the sea turtles are really cutie too maybe you've um, missed him like even these fish or something like that that you could use or the um, what is that called starfish and then we've also got this guy too like having this beautiful you know ocean piece here as well so I could even stamp that and stick that down on front maybe but anyway we'll have a little play with these products and the actual whale stamp set where did I put him there he is underneath my tutorial so this is the one that has inspired it all the whale watching oh here's little Bella you're coming to say hello are you little girl come up here and say hello to everyone come here she's got her hoodie on today and so she looks very snuggly and warm here we go here's little Bella say hi everyone all you can see is you and you're like, who is that dog in there? Who is that doggy? But yes, she's doing very, very good. Aren't you little girl? Hmm? She's all nice and warm. Can you see the doggy? Who's that? You don't even know. <laughs> you gonna go on your bed? Hmm? You gonna go on your bed? Yeah? Little cutie pie. She's such a snuggler, this one. There you go. On your bed. On your bed, little girl. And she's so quiet, my goodness. It's like, do we even have a little dog here? I don't know if we do. <laughs> but no, she's doing very, very good. I'm giving her some rescue remedy. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but I think it might be helping somehow. Not sure how, but I'm going to go with that. Anything to make us feel like we're helping them. So I think I'm going to do, I'll do edge to edge. So I'm going to do it at the, that is a really great sky. 
I like this guy. So I'm going to do the full thing because it's just easier for lining up the ocean part. So I can possibly do that, but I think that way will be good because it looks like it's got more of a... And what measurement is this roundabout? So I think, yeah, about four, four and a half. It's called eyeball. And then that can be the ocean piece. But we'll do some things here just to soften this part there. And then that's going to sit on the front cover. Now, the other thing that I did think about when I was playing around, so I think that will look really good like that. So it's going to go edge to edge. Uh, the other thing I thought would look good in the on the inside is this gorgeous shimmer paper. It doesn't, um, like the sparkles don't come off, but um, I thought that would be like a real fancy, because it's the same coloring to have the pretty peacock colors, I think is really fun. So that's another option as well. I've already pre-cut these, so I'll use them. But yeah, I really liked that shimmer, shimmer color. Now, I'm going to make the mechanism with you. So what we will do is you'll need to refer to the measurements on your tutorial because it is different depending on whether you use inches or metric. But I will give you one tip that I learnt this morning. So one side is a little bit larger than the other, okay? Okay. You need to keep in mind that when you are scoring, and you'll see it on the tutorial when you download that, when you're doing the scoring, there is one part that is um, one and a half or four centimetres three times. So I'm going to be doing four centimetres scoring. Just keep in mind that that needs to be the smaller side because I went to do it on the tutorial and it does explain it in the tutorial but you know in true Kylie form I kind of missed that so just keep that in mind that you want to oh yes and it had it to there but it will be even if if you look at the measurements and you're like mm, why is that not, not even I've just done a little gap in here if you want to you don't have to go all the way along it doesn't really matter if you do but so that is all we have to score on that side I know complicated Whew. it's really it's really technical this so just follow all the scoring as long as you're following the scoring and the measuring Bruno's done a really really great job of making the scoring really easy to follow and then from here this is where we do some chopping and you just need to concentrate for this one because on one side you're going to be leaving one of these panels so we're going to leave this one here and I found it's easier just to snip it than to use my trimmer I feel like there's room to go right and go all the way along and then chop this guy and then you'll be really sad because you kind of need him so we've done one on this side so now on this side we need to chop out just this middle one so it's the opposite on the other side and it will all make sense when I do the mechanism with you so this side here I found easier to do underneath And it's okay if it's not like absolutely 100% accurate. It's not going to affect the mechanism, which is a relief. So that is our mechanism. And what this is going to do is just to give you a global view of it. It's going to pop up and that's going to be like a little pop-up mechanism that when, when your card is closed, it will be flat. And then when you open it, it's going to pull this tab from underneath here and make a cylindrical pop-up. Oh, isn't that incredible? Amazing. 
so I'll stick these down in the middle just so that we can get going with this mechanism and then we can do lots of decorating. I've got my green glue here. Good morning, Megan. Hi. So next week I'll, I may or may not have a video. I'm not going to promise. <laughs> so subscribe to our channel. You may or may not have a video. I, th I think I'm going to genuinely have a break. You can do without me one week, can't you? Because we've got our 20th anniversary next week. And so we're going down to the beach. And randomly, there's going to be really, really warm weather in Melbourne next week. Which means we might actually be able to go swimming. So years ago, I bought some... Um, swimming floaty things for Jasper and Bella and we never got to use them so I'll get to use them for little Belle Belle she can have some swimming in the um, ocean she's going to love it because they were beach babies the people who found them and rescued them um, they lived by the beach so they were at the beach all the time as puppies so they really, really love the beach. Now, the mechanism that we need to create. So obviously we've got our little bit here, right? The mechanism that we need to create for this to all work is a little pull lever. So if you go to your measurements, it will have that there. And then it's got please score. So that is the extent of our little mechanism. And all we're going to do is stick this down. Uh, you can stick it from the inside, but I, I think I ended up doing it on the outside, mainly because it was grabbing, I think, when I stuck it. There was a reason why it was better on the outside. I did lots of testing, so I just had to trust my myself and make sure that that the bit that's folded down that's going to be stuck there so we just want that there and you can see if your measurement is right that will fit really nicely in there it's not going to interfere with these two tabs and these two tabs are created to kind of guide this through so yeah you want that to be there so that you know when you're pulling see how that that's sort of sitting right like that so when it is closed, this is flat. When, I mean, sorry, when it's open, this is going to be like so. So this is the, probably the trickiest bit of the whole thing. It's probably the one thing I didn't practice. So this will be fun to do this together. I'll be like, what did I do there again? <laughs> what was the idea? Oh yes, I remember now. Good. I've got it, everyone. So what we're going to do is the first thing to stick down are these tabs. And then we'll stick this guy down. Actually, we can even stack, stick this. It doesn't actually matter either way. So we'll stick this guy down first. Bruno's going to die, but I am going to actually use Tombow glue. <laughs> he would always recommend tear and tape. He, actually, no, let's do tear and tape. It does get messy. When you're dealing with 3D items... The tear and tape is your buddy. Here we go. <laughs> I can hear him. He hasn't caught up yet. He's like, don't use Tombo. <laughs> He's like, don't do it. You're going to regret it. He'll be impressed. He'll, he'll catch up in about five seconds and see that I've used tape instead. <laughs> Come on, little guy. If you don't have nails and this is not coming up, your snips or your take your pick tool is your best friend because it can just, yeah, lift that up for you. Now, this part here, we want that to go backwards and it's going to sit on this. And the reason why it's sitting on this is that when you're pulled, this is like your lever. So it's not going to do anything. If you stick it down here, that what's that going to do? Nothing. So you need it to sit on here so that it has somewhere to lever it. And you want the edge of that to sit on the corner of this. So you could even do it like so. Line it up 
so that it, it you know, is even on each side as much as you can. And even if you wanted to, you could do it like, the, I know we did it like this as well, which was quite handy. In fact, I remember doing it like this, where you line it up right against the edge there. And then I'm going to bring this over. So that's a great way of doing it too. Let's do that. And then you have more of a opportunity to make sure that this is lined up as well as it can be. Yep, that looks great. And then push that down. And if you have your bone folder, which, you know, where would my bone folder be? Oh, I did just have it today. I know it's here. Where are you, little one? Where are you? It's under under tutorials or trimmers or paper. Oh, found him. Here he is. Can so stop looking, everyone. But we'll just do a little bit of burnishing there. Just to stick that down really well. Good. Now, let's see. Woohoohoo! Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> no, we haven't stuck these down. <laughs> So all we're going to do now is stick those tabs down. Now, if you wanted to, because, and I probably should have done this beforehand, but I don't personally mind. I don't think you can actually see it. But see how there's like a bit of patterned paper on the side here that you might be able to see. So if you wanted to, you can just come on in. And like I said, do this beforehand. But if you forget, all good. You can do what I'm doing. And no, no measuring. I'm just sort of cutting away so that you don't see that patterned paper from the outside. I'll keep that one there. I think they, they are a good little groove and you're not going to see that. It's more these side ones that I think are a good thing to do. So we'll keep them as is. And again, Nice easy way of doing it and I will use the tape again because that was just so clean and tidy and neat. I end up usually I end up with glue everywhere. I really do need to transfer to tape. Oh thank you everyone. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> we get a lot, a lot, a lot of help and we have an amazing team, so it's not just us. What do I say to someone? Um they said, oh, you know, congratulations on everything you do. And I said, yeah, it's amazing how motivating it is when it's the only way to pay your bills. Because <laughs> it's, our, it's our only job. So it's like, yeah, you kind of take it a bit more seriously, not for rankings, but for <laughs> just for income. <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't feel like turning up, but I better. Got to pay the bills. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good motivator. <laughs> more than rankings. <laughs> yeah. Having a roof on your head and food. Yeah, really important things to have in your life. Very good. Very good. Now, if we push this down, will that work? Yes, it will. So that is our second. Honestly, this could not have gone any better. I feel like there's going to be a mistake here, but there's not. So we're going to go close like this. And again, we're going to burnish and we're about to find out if it's all hunky-dory. And I think it is. That's that's how tricky this... <laughs> you get it, Suzanne. <laughs> okay, you ready? Did the mechanism work? <gasps> it sure did, people. Are you excited? I feel like I need a round of applause. Come on. And that actually was the easiest way to explain it, to be honest. So please save this video because that, that was definitely the easiest way to do it. So now we have a platform for our whales to have a little jump because what's going to happen is it'll be flat when we go here, but then it will lift up when we open. Isn't that the coolest? I know. It's such a surprise and it really isn't that difficult so just make sure you're not sticking this down that needs to stay wee okay the only bits you're sticking down is this one and then your two top taps there it now if you wanted to totally up to you but I did it in my previous one I just did a little strip two centimeters or 
what is it in inches like three quarters of an inch and just you know not all the way along but you know a little bit under and I just came in here and stuck it down behind the mechanism and the reason why I did that was to kind of stop it from um, you know coming up like that if you find that a little bit like oh that's a bit weird it just kind of stabilizes that whole mechanism and keeps it in place but the, the one tip that I will give you is just make sure that you're not gluing all the way along you want your mechanism to still be able to free flow past here of course so we're just going to stick some pieces here and here and then stick it down so you just want it on either side not too far in again I'm just eyeballing but you can use this as a guide here so you can see your mechanism line is here so you just don't want it to go beyond that line there because you want that to be able to move but it's also nice to have something stabilizing it too there we go and you could double that if you wanted to you have two two sections there if if you like and then all I'm going to do is just come in here you can't see it but I'm coming up right next to the mechanism and then pushing down and it doesn't have to be straight like no one's going to see it it's just there to just keep that down so see how that's not raising anymore so yeah it's just a lot more sturdy now this little mechanism here um it's great if it's paper however if you wanted to use cardstock you can use cardstock i would just recommend that you emboss it by embossing it you're breaking the fibers in the cardstock and then it creates that cylindrical movement if you're using a piece of cardstock it just can be a little bit you know a lot on this particular part here um you know this this section here might not be able to handle that load um so yeah can you hold the tunnel opening so to the camera so we can see so see how it's sitting in behind there so I've stuck it like there and there. So it's sort of just sitting above that mechanism. But of course, like I said, you don't want to stick in this middle where this is. Because if you stick that, then this is not moving. Okay, it's just you're sticking here underneath there and then underneath there. And that's not going to move with your mechanism that's staying right in place so you want it to be a color that you're not going to see of course um, but all that is doing is the same as these tabs up the top here it's like a, a guide and it's just keeping that that whole thing stuck down without affecting the mechanism thank you yella it's very sad isn't it you've known jasper for a long time so that is our mechanism. Now, the one thing I have just noticed now is because of where I've put up the mechanism, this is actually stopped at this point here. It's not opening all the way. So keep that in mind too. I actually don't mind that because that's probably the extent I want it to go. But if you wanted to, I'll just um, undo this because I've only used one tab so I can. I am the master of ripping things apart without destroying everything famous last words but you know I think I'm I'm think I'm like cheering myself on like you can do this Kylie <laughs> I actually don't I actually really don't mind that I think that's kind of cool that it sits up like that but let's just have a little look here at doing it a little bit higher because if we go all the way flat then we've got more of a cylindrical thing there so just keep that in mind that you if you want it to be all the way cylindrical then have this all the way open so that's just the only thing that i forgot but that looks all good so i've just stuck that down again and that now can go all the way yes good excellent so let's decorate peeps so that is the mechanism now remember 
Some of you may have seen this mechanism where it was done, and you'll see it on the tutorial, where I did a smaller, um, like it wasn't as long, the cylindrical part, and this was smaller, like I changed the entire mechanism so that you can have the flowers or something popping out here. You could even have, like there's a new um, bee suite coming out, um, you know, to have little bees and things like that and honeycomb. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. You don't have to have it landscape. On my tutorial, I'll show you how to do a portrait as well. So, And I've even done one that's square and smaller. So lots of different sizing for you to, to be able to enjoy, which is good. Oh, thank you, Sally. <laughs> yeah, she's getting so many treats. Oh, my goodness. She woke up this morning hungry asking for treats. <laughs> so cute yes uh, now what do we want to do I feel like I want to use on the ocean dies and I feel like I want to maybe I could use although there is this guy too which would look really good wouldn't it if we stamp that and stick it down Oh, yay, Jody! good job. So we could have something like, well, it's going to be stamped like that. So it could be the ocean. Stick it down. We'll do this in Pretty Peacock. And all we'll stick down is just this base section. And then have the whale maybe coming out here. We can maybe put, put him on a window sheet or something like that. And he can stick up in the sky the only thing that we have to be careful of is how far like when he goes flat does he have enough room here to go flat that's all so i'll help you with that let's do some stamping i think that will be good but you totally could use and you'll see my tutorial with the ship um i used this beautiful ocean piece here but i actually cut out like I used this as a guide to cut out. Um, oh, no, it does cut out for you. That's right. There's two pieces here. So, yeah, I did two sets of waves. But it is a little bit fiddly and a bit gluey. So maybe if you're going to do this one, make sure that you use it at your adhesive sheets because I had – oh, no, use the adhesive sheets. And they would. it was too um, flimsy to use the adhesive sheets. So – yeah, it's just going to be messy if you use that. I think it's personally worth it, but <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> it looks amazing. You'll see it when you get the tutorial, that one. Come on, little one. Just did my nails and now I can't pick things up. Now, we need to stamp some whales. And I've got my Stamparatus here which sadly you cannot purchase anymore with Stampin' Up. Wee. Very sad. But I want these whales. In fact I might even um, black emboss them. I think that's the best way to get them really black. Look brand new. Yee -hee. I'm so proud of myself. Challenge accepted. Bruno. So I think even this one here, even though it's got the the mm, I know what I could do there. Um and these will be good for the front, those clouds, so we could stamp those. Good. And then we've got a little bit of ocean here as well, like a spray. So that might actually come in handy too. Oh, lots of great stamp sets in that one. It's a hidden gem, I feel. I feel like you need to add to cart. Yay, Bonnie. Thanks, Nicole. We really appreciate it. When we sell these online stamping retreats, guess what? It means we'll do more. <laughs> it means we'll keep creating for you. We'll keep doing more events. Yay. We've actually added another extra one in next year. We've got We usually do two per year, but next year we've got three due to popular demand. 
So I will do this one on here. And I think we could go, yes, we can go this way. But I like to move it over a little bit and then just stick this down. Uh, I think I've got my tape somewhere. Oh, this one might do. This is an old piece I used before. It's all I really need. Good. And I think we'll do it about there. It doesn't really matter if... Um... Now, if you get to the point where you're... That one there just didn't feel very um, sticky. Like maybe I left it out or didn't, you know, clean properly. I just like to use my stamp and spritz, my mist, stamp and mist, and just give it a spray. Oh my goodness, look at all this on the bench now. At least the bench will get a good clean. There you go, bench. <laughs> it's actually very, very good for cleaning a bench too with all the adhesive the adhesive everywhere so what we'll do we'll do that again we'll see how this picks up now that i gave it a little bit of a spray just you know you want it to calm down a bit not too wet look at that look at how it's grabbing you can even see it is it sticking oh it's not very happy today it needs longer oh yeah there you go it needs longer with the with the mist but that is very handy that little mist when you need to refresh your stamps the front and the back now I'll get the pretty peacock did you notice oh you did clean the desk well you no wonder you came to bed so late Bruno Batucci he did everything last night Okay, and I'll get the gift from Yella. Thank you, Yella Gnome. <laughs> it's very handy to have this because you can get right in. And I find it's less, um, like I use less energy than when I'm like pushing. Oh, see, this is why we need the Stamparatus. So if it doesn't stamp all the way because this is like a background stamp almost this one I feel like that side isn't actually down a bit probably should have used it that way it does make a difference when you okay Is that got in there yes oh I love that color and I'm very happy with that stamping so now what I'll do is do some snipping, but first let's get our ShamWow. <laughs> ShamWow! I love being able to just bring the chamois to the stamp and give it a good wipe. You can, I've even seen people cut these down. I did it for a while, but I find I'll just fold it and such a handy little tool. I know it gets very messy, but it still cleans, which is just incredible, really. Look at that. A little bit there still. But isn't that easy? It's just so easy. Thank you for your service, little one. <laughs> Shame wow, the whole thing. <laughs> Now, let's do some choppy chop chop. I've got my good scissors, the ones with the... I might actually use the trimmer on here because it's a straight cut, so why not?
that way, but we'll use the snips for the rest of it. Um, there probably is actually. Is there a die, everyone? Probably. I think the die isn't to cut the wave. I'll have a look anyway. But I think it was to add layers onto it. Let's have a little looky here. Oh, I found the forest. So yeah, so it's sort of like, I mean the clouds will be really nice to use. We could possibly use them on the front. But it's like, and even these birdies, they could be quite good. But yeah, it's like a, um, we could even put the sparkle one on top. But it's like a layer for on top. And this one too, it's like a different layer. So you could like add that sparkly shimmer. Yeah. It's good to know what's around. Now I'm going to come in here. And then this little bit here. Uh, I think I'll leave that white. I was going to go in, but... I think I'll leave that white bit. We'll just see how this looks when we put it next to the project. Because we can adapt it afterwards. Look, I've gone into Kylie Calm colour snipping mode. <laughs> my voice, my voice goes really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charlotte's onto it. Okay. Oh, I really like that. So if we stick it at the bottom here, like right at that edge, what's going to happen is when it closes, it will be right at the edge, but it will close like so. Isn't that cool? And then that's going to pop up. And then because we don't stick this bit down, then it's going to stay standing up. Now, one thing I would like to do, I like having the white, but I think up the top here, I like it in here, but I just want to tone it down a little bit. So I might just get a... Uh, Sponge dauber. Will dauber. Yes, there. And just sort of maybe zhuzh a bit. I don't know if I've updated the Pretty Peacock, but I'm pretty sure I used one of these. I've got to redo. It's, I can't keep up with redoing. I'm organised for about a year. <laughs> ah, Patricia's already on to me. <laughs> so I'm just going to very lightly. I mean, it's very hard to do lightly with Pretty Peacock, but just tone that down a little bit. Just do some whooshing in here. Because I do like some white, like you still get your white foam. But I just don't want as much white. Yeah, that's a bit better. What do you reckon? Just a bit more toned down. Good. I 
come back with that. And then when we get our whale, we could possibly do this one here. I'd like to do the big guy and step him in. What's it called? Black and Boss. I'm like, what am I using again? Black and Boss. Be heavy handed. I really love to have lots and lots of embossing buddy on there because it just helps to remove all the study. There we go. Actually, Brenna, can you add a Versa mark on our shopping list? I feel it needs looking a bit and I don't like to refill them I learned that one from Lisa I um I've noticed that when you refill it, it just doesn't quite you know redo it the same way how has this got copper on top <laughs> I clearly have put the wrong lid on top there. Oh, I love that. And I think embossed in the black was a good call. That's why you need a lot of embossing, buddy, because the black does tend to grab and you see the flickers a lot more. But remember, we're going to be cutting it out, so... Don't stress too much if you see these, but remember that you also have the um, tools. So you can use the brush and yeah, if I knew where they were, they are here somewhere. <laughs> the brush is really handy when you have it. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm like, I literally just saw it. <laughs> Why are you not in your container? But yes, you can just grab your little brush particularly with the black but if you use your embossing buddy really well like you saw me I I like hit it and then you'll get a really good image and then we'll heat that ready Whoa. So black does take a little bit longer to emboss and I find I have to be close to it as well. So if you've struggled with heat setting black, just be a bit more patient and stay in the one place for a bit longer until it, it finally sets. Look at that, it's got like a sparkle to it, just shine. Isn't that the coolest? Who else has got this um, set, the whale set called Whale Watching? Anyone else got it? So I think I'll just come in here like so. I won't go too close because we can color that section in. So remember with your snipping, I'm turning with my left. Snipping with my right, but turning with my left. So my left is my, my navigator. All my right hand is doing is just squeezing the scissors. Because if you try and turn with your right hand, a disaster
Okay. Wasn't sure how to end that one, but anyway. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, you love the whale embossed. Oh, look at it. Looks great, doesn't it? Now, let's see how it looks. I'll just close that one. Let's see how it looks sitting in here. So I think, yes, that is the spot. What do you reckon, peeps? And then we'll just sponge this. Oh, hello, could help if you saw it. <laughs> but that is the spot, see? I'll just lift it so that you can see. So it's going to sort of come out of the wave. And it looks like, because it's got that base there, it will colour that so that it looks like it's coming out of part of that. Who have I won over? Bruno was not a fan, but I, I don't know, I just love whales. I really love whale watching. I think maybe because I was born near Harvey Bay. I was born in Maribara, but, you know, grew up in Harvey Bay. And Harvey Bay is very, very well known here in Australia for their whale watching. Whoops, I got his tail, but that's, I mean, his fin, but that's okay. The wave has splashed up on him. <laughs> we'll create a story. <laughs> so that's how it's going to sit like that. Yeah, I really, really, really like it. And if you wanted to just sort of integrate this same feeling here to there, you could even like use the um, stamp just to bring in some of that pattern on here i think that would actually look quite good so if i go i don't know if it'll work but we'll just do a little bit of stamping there and yeah i can just try it this side so see how it's got like a little bit of like this the same pattern yeah so you could you know do it beforehand and mask it off even. And then it just sort of feels like it's got the same mist that's coming up as the stamp rather than being like a different pattern. I'd love to be able to get in the middle here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't want to wreck. I don't want it to grab on here. Just give it a wipe with the tissue. Maybe that'll prevent that from going skew if yeah that's what I wanted so I just feel like it's got more of a that same sort of grungy look to it good oh <laughs> pretend that's not there <laughs> we'll use the color lifter <laughs> He's got some wave on his face. <laughs> That's what I get for playing with ink. <laughs> okay. Happy days. Let's stick this baby down. So I've kept it pretty simple, like that's all I'm going to do on the inside. And of course you could even have a sentiment here. And then we're going to have a piece up the top here to be able to write. And then we'll just do the front. And I think we'll have a bit of fun with this front piece. I think we'll have more there, but I like that this has got all the wow factor because it's popping out. So we'll just do a bit of glue along there. Stick that down and then we'll have some glue. We don't want it the whole way along because there's a little bit sticking out on either side, which I actually really like that. I think it looks good. So we've sort of just got in this section here. Or you can even stick it like there. And what I like to do is try and close it as much as I can and just stick it on that edge there so that I know it's not going to go over where the card is. Yeah, that looks good. 
and it's stuck to the actual mechanism then. You like that? What do you think? I really like it. I think that looks really cool. And even though these are hard edges, I, I'm okay with that. Like I feel like you're kind of telling the person that, that you know, you're looking at part of a scene sort of thing. But if you wanted to soften this and maybe bring more of a wave and soften this, you know, go for it. You could totally do that as well. <laughs> yes, I'm black and white today. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I must have been vibing it. <laughs> and, you know, these parts here, like obviously you've got some little splashes here and things. So, you know, you really can go to town. You can add fishies. Like I said, there's turtles. You could add in these cute little turtles. That turtle could, could be swimming through the ocean. Because it's really cute. So this one here. I haven't even used this one yet so I think he'd be really cute to sort of swim swim through the ocean like that through that wave you know you'd really feel like you're in Hawaii now so yeah and then there's like these little pieces so even like on the top section you really can go to town with this card and um, make it your own you could even at the base you could have all the the starfish down or even the the actual school of fishies you could stamp them along the edge here and embossed in white like there's just I really want you to wee like there's just so many ideas of what you can do I'm just giving you a little prototype to get wet the appetite wet the creative mojo and um, yeah, have some fun with it. Make it your own. Who else has thought of different stamp sets that would be good with this? I used the um, the milkshake. Can you believe it? Milkshake um, stamp sets on this one, and it looks so cool. You are gonna love it when you see it in the tutorial. <laughs> I was like. How did I manage to use some milkshakes? Because it's just so fun. I feel like you're in a diner. Now, I want to do the... I think, yes. Let's do that. I'll just try this. Yes, good. I'm just cutting a piece for the... the insert up the top here just flip that around because it's got a little line in it yes I really like that so again nothing fancy but if you wanted to layer it if you want to add more things here like go for it you do that oh Deirdre hope everything's okay Oh, the polar bears. Yes, that would be great. And yes, use those turtles. I think they would just look so fantastic with this card. What else have we got there? We've got, you know, some beautiful, um, like if you've got friends that are hikers. So having like a hiking scene, you could have all the forest and you could even layer the forest. Because really the only concern is when it closes will it hit the top here so you can see here this is quite high and yet look at when we close it we've still got a good probably inch and a bit or like five centimeters more in height that you can do so that's pretty high <laughs> like it's gonna look like what you know if you did like layering behind we could even do like another wave here and it would still fit within that area which is very fun. Yes. Thank you, Janelle. Yes, really fun card, hey? And like I said, I'm just keeping it super simple. You could go to town, but we'd be here for probably four hours having fun, which I'm sure you all don't mind. <laughs> but we've got to get things going. <laughs> There's always something to do around here. <laughs> um, now, the front, we did the cutting for this. 
so I've got that full frame and then we've got this piece here and then we've got those um, clouds that we can stamp or I might even use these ones that were part of the waves die because that goes with what we've already used on the inside and we can put a few of those we could even put these are birdies flying so we could pop, pop a few birds as well and what's this one here I think they were the top of the the waves just a little bit of color and the other thing I want to do is the um, forest I think that would look really good I think these are the ones that Bruno used oh we can even have a mountain in the background how exciting we have a full landscape happening here ah that is perfect look at that it's like it was meant to be so what what color do we do this mountain because i see the caps do we do them in early espresso i think we might you know we can do some dark colors maybe even pecan pie Let's have a little look and see what what I gravitate to. Hmm. I feel like I feel like that these mountains should be a nice contrast because we're going to have these green trees sort of sitting. And even these don't necessarily have to be green, do they? They can be some other colours. I really love this. And then we've got these little guys here. We don't have to use the same one as the inside, but we've got this one here. We can have mummy and baby together we'll just stamp them in the um, black emboss as well yeah I think that will look really good I think maybe if we do pecan pie and I could possibly even like sponge a little bit of the white I don't know if pecan pie will be strong enough though what are you all thinking you can all help me on this one all the houses would be great too. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte, my husband won't be here for another three hours. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's do the we'll do the um, clouds to start with. I'll run them through my little mini, and then we've got. Birds, we can do the birds in basic black only. I feel like there needs to be three clouds. I'll just flip this around because it's not on my right side. Oh, there's another cloud there. Three clouds. See, you, Kathy. Oh, grey granite, Maya Swari. <gasps> you had me at grey granite. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the lemon lime twist would be hot. Granny, nice one. I love your colour choices, Maya Swari. They're always bold and adventurous, which is perfect for a card like this. Will it fit in the mini, this one? Ah, it will. And I'm pretty sure I've got a bit of grey granite here. Already pre-cut. Yes. We'll use this piece here. Now, I think this is one of the ones that doesn't cut all the way through. 
which is fine. So we can actually create the cut. I'll just do this. Yes, I snip so that I can use my mini. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> love it. I love my mini. <laughs> so handy. There we go. And I'll run that along there. this one twice because it's got a little bit of embossing in it so just want it to come up really nicely there yep good pick Mayor Swari. love it I actually like the um, normally I hate that groove thing showing but I think it's gonna actually be a nice little border there and then we'll do these trees we've got a few of these smaller ones which are good we'll do a whole heap of them this one this one I feel like there's another late um, tree somewhere no that's all of them very good very good and we'll do that in the, I think we've got granny and what's this one? Garden and granny. Let's do some of those. Yes, yeah, I'm snipping peeps. It's my prerogative. <laughs> I can snip for my mini. I'm snipping for my mini. I mean, it's just a great way to use scraps, really. The mini is the scrap maker. No, the scrap user. Need a way to find your, use your scraps? Get your mini out. Your mini's Perfect for all your little scraps. So I should never throw anything out ever again. Because guess what? Your mini loves your scraps. That's that should be the selling logo of the mini. Got scraps? Get a mini. Wanna use your scraps? Get a mini. Okay. Now, if you have this problem, see how it's like having a little bit of a hissy fit getting in. It just means that the, the sandwich is a little bit thick. So you can just pull back a little bit on the layers so that when it feeds through, it's not all chunky up the top. Um, but I actually swap out, I use the gray base instead of the white one. And I find usually, for whatever reason it's not doing it today but <laughs> usually it has no problem what is it doing today it's having a little meltdown there's nothing in there is there nothing blocking it no <laughs> i was like what have i done come on come on little one come on you can do it what is it doing i feel like there is actually something in there that is so odd maybe it's just the width oh i know Maybe this needs to be turned. Let's try it now. Yes. Okay, there's another tip. If it's not going through, it's probably because your folder is bowed and it needs to be flipped around. I was like, what is it jamming on? So I'll get a whole heap of these. I'll do another set. So we can create a really cool forest. 
Ooh, white embossed the ta the whales on the peacock DSP. Ooh, that'll look nice. Very nice. Look, creative ideas are happening. That's all I could ever want is for you to walk away from one of our videos and go, ah, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do that. So who was at the um, online stamping retreat that we just had? Who was there live? For whatever reason, oh yeah, that one's coming out. Just this side, it's not not happy, John. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. this one got attacked by a bear in the forest. <laughs> the bear. The bear got that one. He was climbing a tree. So who came? I saw a lot of um, familiar faces that was there. Margie was there. Oh, that's so nice. You had a good time. Which one did you enjoy the most? You don't have to say any of our ones. <laughs> You're not obligated to say ours. But if you don't... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We absolutely loved Gina and Lisa's cards. They did such a great job. Like really, really good. We love working with those two. They're just such beautiful girls. Um, and we've got this one here for the birdies. Don't want to forget the birds. And I'll really use a scrap piece here. See, look, you would have thrown that away. Bruno would have thrown that away for sure. And look, it could have been a bird, Bruno. Don't throw it away. It could be birds. It could be a tree. <laughs> Who wasn't? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you like the pizza oven. That was epic, that pizza oven. I think that took me an entire day to make that one. A good, well, actually it took a multiple days, but to actually, like I had the idea in my head, Bruno worked on it for quite a number of hours, getting the actual oven done. And then um, me compiling it all took like, a, yeah, a good eight hours. It was so enjoyable <laughs> it was so much fun i know that everyone's every all of them are unique for their own special ways aren't they yeah oh i'm so glad trish thank you i'm actually going to put the water on top stick this down on them and I haven't stuck too much of the mountains because then we can come behind it with the all the trees so they're kind of hovering at the moment but we can have a bit of a play with these So 
So all I want to do is just layer these in a way that gives like height and depth and, and I don't necessarily have to stick these down either. I think sometimes it's fun to have like a bit of like things sticking up and sticking out. Like it just gives it that 3D look. So see how they're pretty even? So I can either pull it up and go a little bit higher or push it down and go a little bit lower. The pizza one was awesome. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> ah, yes, the pizza was crazy. It was in my head and Bruno helped me birth that one. Because I was like, oh, that would be epic to be able to use that <clears throat> particular fun fold card for that particular thing. So I might actually do one sitting in front. Wouldn't that be nice? Why not? Oh, I love that. I just will add a little bit here just so it's not as flowy. Look, it's still flowy but not like it's not going to get caught on the envelope or something. And then we'll put our clouds here because that can sort of sit in between there. Isn't that fun? And then we've got our birdies. This side looks better. Do you think somewhere like that? Or maybe down this side. Are these birdies? I don't know if they're birdies. They look like birdies, but maybe I'll be better stamping the birds. What have we got here? Nori. I think these ones. I like these ones. some stamping on the front then. And it doesn't matter if this is not really dark because I usually like to black emboss rather than the memento but it's okay if these aren't perfect because it just 
just got to find a spot where they're going to not hit the cloud. I'm risking it, people. Yes. I think it paid off. <laughs> so I'll pop up the link for you, Pam. And you can purchase any of, at the moment we've unlocked the vault. So you can purchase any of the retreats. Uh, OSR. There we go. So you can click on that one. Online stamping retreat dot com and it will come up for you. Oh, I'm glad you're liking this card. It's fun to do something a bit special. Eh? Push ourselves out of our comfort zone. And this, as I said, this is the type of card that you could really, really, really genuinely go to town on. Like, there's so many ideas that are flowing even in my brain. I can't imagine your brain. You'd be like, oh, I could use that one. I could use butterflies. I can use, like, it's just, there's no limit of what you can do. And I just think for, like, special... Like for friends that have got everything, I think cards like this are just so perfect because they don't have everything. They don't have one of these cards. And when they see it, they're going to realize that that is what has been missing from their life, that money cannot buy. <laughs> like, this is it. This is what I have been working my whole entire life for. <laughs> I've sacrificed my life and all I actually needed was a pop-up card. And I didn't even realise it. <laughs> I didn't realise a pop-up card was missing. <laughs> oh, Kylie. <laughs> Some of the stories I tell, you guys must just laugh your heads off. Like, what on earth is she talking about now? <laughs> oh, thank you, Bruno. Yes, it's in session one, this one. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> Okay, now remember, heavy handed. <laughs> There's powder going everywhere. But you want it to be everywhere because we're about to black emboss. So we want this to be hardcore because those little black, like it's all over my Versamark. I'm pretty sure that's what's dirtied my Versamark. How very dare you! Black emboss. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Look at all the powder on my hand. <laughs> powder everywhere. Now, I don't want to tap that too much. Because you do want the whales to have a good amount of emboss. And just remember, we're going to be chopping them. So in this instance, it's not too bad if there's like, you know, things flying around. And remember, you want it to be fairly close, high heat, and stay in the one place. See how it's really melting that. Yes. Oh, thank you, Trish. I really like As soon as I saw this pop-up card, I've seen it done with the flowers before, and Jan B actually helped me a lot with her tutorial. She's an amazing, amazing stamp stamper. But um, I knew I wanted to do a twist, and so I thought, how can I change this up? Everyone's seen the flower one before. How can I 
make it completely my own and do some different types of pop-up cylindrical pop-ups and um, yeah I thought the landscape one is something that I hadn't seen before anywhere else and it just leans itself to so many ideas like even if it was just like a whole heap of sentiments that you put on the inside that we're popping out or like it's just amazing what you can do with it I think anyone who opens up and sees a pop-up mechanism it's just yeah it's almost like magic right it's like how how did you do that and I think adults children we all love it like I remember getting pop-up books when I was a young girl and I was absolutely fascinated by them I just thought they were the most amazing things and I remember trying to work out like how is it doing that how is that hand popping out of the screen or it's just really cool go just went into zen mode for a moment I'm back people <laughs> I'm like <laughs> now someone mentioned doing um white and boss I think that's a really good idea for some of these like wave features and what have we got here we've got that one and there was another one I think in the whale set this one here is really cool. That's in the turtle one. It's very cool. And then we've got these ones here, which is very cool too. Look at me, I'm like, mm, do I want to use that? Mm, am I vibing that? I feel like the one that I did with the whale. Oh yeah, there's this one here too. We've got... Yeah, I think this one here is going to be really good. So that's that one there. And we could sort of do it where the whale pops up. Now, don't stress, I know we're just stamping directly on here, but, um, you know, if we do a boo-boo, we can just cover this. So it happens, and it's okay. Don't be scared, Kylie. That's what I'm telling myself. Don't be scared. Everything's going to be okay. I'll just do the one for now. I was going to do another one, but let's just see how this looks and we'll layer the whales to see. That's really cool. This one I can do a little bit further away because it's the white. And even if you're, so it's sort of bowing a little bit with the um, heat of the gun. So if you don't want that to happen, you can go on the lower um, setting. Um, but because I'm sticking this down onto cardstock, I'm not too stressed about it. So that's good. So I think doing it like that, I think maybe even a bit higher. 
what do you reckon peeps and then this little baby can be just following or maybe this one can go over here I really like that now the only thing that I feel like needs a little bit of work is just this edge piece here I don't like it being like a hard edge I can't watch yes it's like that isn't it I hope <laughs> So I think if we use, we've got, I've got some like boulders and things like that here in this set. We could possibly put a couple of them just to sort of, you know, give it a 3D effect at the front. And there was even a piece here, like there was a cliff face, but I don't necessarily want to stamp and cut. I think just using these, these boulders will do the job, which would be good. And what else have we got? I should have a look in these die sets. So there's probably another die set with... landscape image isn't it great having all these dies it's like hmm which one would I like to use <laughs> so many ideas that's why I say use what you have on hand I think they're the best ones There's actually this one here which would work quite well as well where it could be like a little sandbank type thing or it would kind of just you know soften that edge a bit let's give that a go I'll still do the boulders though I'll do this edge piece as well. It will kind of look like part of the boulder, but I think that will soften it really well. And these. Oh, I just saw the cards that we did. I want to do a quick show and tell after I cut this, just so that you can see some other reasons to purchase previous online stamping retreats not that you don't need any more excuses oh hello you jumped out there did you oh it's one of these ones that got a snippy snip we can do that although the idea is to not have a straight line <laughs> now we're having a straight line <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Maybe if we do it, I'll do it that way. But I'll do it this way as well. It might have a line through it though, but that's okay. Can we handle that? I think we can. That's funny. Let's do this so that there's no straight line. Huh. There's a straight line. <laughs> Ooh. It's a little bit smaller than I expected. But it could do the job. Let's cut that rather than ripping it. Oh, actually ripping it would probably be good. It gives it a rustic look. Yes. So, I think this is actually exactly what I'm looking for because that will sit along there like that. And then we can have the boulders sitting over there so you don't see that side. And a couple of these, we can do another one of them over there. 
What do you think? It kind of looks like it's going into the water, but I actually really think that looks good. Sort of softens that a little bit there. What do you reckon, everyone? It looks like it's part of the mountain, hey? And then it will make sense when that's like that. Are we sold? I think I'm sold. We'll get your tick of approval first. decide which one I want <laughs> why not while I'm here cut once Very busy girl, haven't I? Yes, that would work. Oh, that's great. Looks great. Maybe to, oh, there we go, Sue. We're so in sync today. Ooh, maybe grey granite with sponging. Yes, I like it. Hi, Patricia Hicks, how are you? Let's do that. There we go. And then we can have the big boulder over here. And the sponging, oh my goodness, totally do it. But I'm running out of time. <laughs> it would look really, really good. There we go. So it looks like it's an extension of the mountain there. Actually, I do like that there. And I think the whales, we just have to put them on dimensionals, don't we, hey? Just have to. We must. We must give them a prop up. Maybe just this guy. Maybe just the mama shark, a uh, mama whale. I think it's so funny that my top is the black and white. Uh, reminds me of Jessie when we went to St. Louis, we went to the zoo and she loves like leopard print and animal print. She's always wearing animal print. <laughs> she was wearing a a pattern that looked like um, a giraffe and you know like you guys our accent stands out so bad when we're overseas and so of course the American accent stands out just as much for us when we go overseas <laughs> this woman was talking to her daughter 
And she goes, look at that lady over there. She's dressed like a giraffe. <laughs> we still, every time she wears that outfit, I'm like, she's dressed like a giraffe. We have a good laugh about it. Just like, I'm theme dressing, even though she wasn't meaning to theme dress. <laughs> it just worked out that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really, really, really love it. And you could totally add like a few more like wave type things in here for sure. But I really like that. And I just think for the sentiment, I think something small, like that's where I really love the tiny sentiments. Like even this one here in botanical layers is really nice. Thinking of you. I think that's a really pretty one. These sentiments are gorgeous in this set. Thank you for everything you mean the world to me. Aww. I'm not really thinking of you. I don't think I've used... Oh, yeah, I'd use this one for a... I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to use this one more. This is gorgeous. I love it. I'm getting all of these stamps that I haven't used in a while or at all I'm getting them out so I think I'll do it that side and again we'll just tell ourselves we can we can cover it if it doesn't stamp right it's all going to be fine it's really nice to keep yourself calm because if if you stress yourself out and you're like oh my goodness what if I ruin it it's usually what happens because you're focused on not ruining it. Now I'll just make sure that that's straight. Yep. And it's the right way, which is always a good start. <laughs> it's always the best place to begin. <laughs> And it probably would be good to do this beforehand. Oh, hello, little girl. You wanting more treats, are you? She's, I think she's milking this. She's like, yeah, give me more food. I can have food on tap. Yes, that looks great. If um, Bella saw this on the television, she would be barking her head off when she sees animals on the TV she's like give me that animal so I can yell at it <laughs> penguins she's like she sees a penguin oh my goodness craziness oh that looks so good girl do you want cuddles come here you can sit on my lap can you see the whale look at that you're sniffing me are you can you see the whale she's watching it intently hmm you're gonna bark at it like you normally do on the telly okay let's stick this down Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've done a very good job together, everyone. Thank you, May Swari, for the colour pick. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Just make sure it's the right way. We've all been there. But if you get it the wrong way, it's all okay. You can just cut your card, flip it around okay let's have a little look here let's move these out of the way I've got to make sure I put all the dies in its right spot so what did we end up using we ended up using seaside bay for our little edge piece here I love that we just used a mashup of all sorts of things we did the whale watching stamp set 
what's this one here who are you little guy forever forest he was very handy wasn't he had boulders and yeah i like this set bruno's used this one quite a bit actually for masculine cards so we've got that one we've got that one we've got the let's pop that inside there because that doesn't need to be out i don't usually cover my stamps so that's the botanical layers and waves of inspiration so we used quite a bit today didn't we and we could have used more we could have used the turtles the sea turtles on oh, we used the on the ocean for the birdies i'm glad i pulled all these out <laughs> so there you go <laughs> there is all the all the stamps we've used so you ready ready says me open says me because i says it Ta -da! so totally go to town in the middle i knew that the front was going to be quite epic but you could totally totally go to town i don't know how i ended up with ink on there but anyway <laughs> we ended up with ink there and ink there <laughs> but i love 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 that you can you've got like another good amount on top here that you could use the only thing actually one thing that did happen is if you're going to do a little bit higher which the boat was a little bit higher it does catch on the back here as it's going down um, so it needs to be something that isn't too fragile so with the boat i ended up chopping off the top of the sail just so that it didn't sort of hit it um, so this is a good size, this one here, but you can sort of go a little bit more of a layer on top there. But I just think it's such a fun surprise. You can add in a sentiment here, of course, as well. But um, yeah, isn't it the fun? So good. So fun. What do you think, everyone? Thumbs up for Kylie. We've got 78 thumbs ups. <laughs> We've got one crying face. That was for Jasper. <laughs> we've got one shocked face yes we understand the shocked face it's like what what do you mean that does that and 37 hearts oh 39 hearts over on facebook so yeah i can't wait to see what you make with that so definitely go and check it out over on online stamping retreat session one this one here that i'm showing you uh bruno might know where this one's from but it was the one oh yes i want to show my happy mail it was the one that had the butterflies and i've just adapted that one to make this card i know isn't that ridiculous <laughs> how even and that's all designer series paper isn't that the coolest card ever so it hovers and so yeah I just think that any person that would get like any anyone that I've shown this card to has gone ah, like it literally takes their breath away so that is a winner that one and then we also had this one so I think that these two Bruno knows his online stamping retreats better than me but I'm pretty sure this one was the second one that we did which would have been fall the fall card event and bruno can tell us when this one was from look at this are you ready oh my goodness get out isn't that this the, the, just the coolest look at me i'm just like <laughs> speechless and then it opens up like this so you can write in here as well but then because it's got this um opening then it stands up as well so it's like this layer upon layer and someone even put like they did it as a wedding card and they put um photos in here like of the groom and the bride so that's another real winner too so ultimately you just need them all <laughs> just go and get all of your online stamping retreats and then you'll you'll not miss a thing <laughs> that's how that's our best advice for you isn't that just oh i just love this one 
Isn't that fun? It was so much fun to make too. And again, this one here, I've got lots of different ways of um, making this card. I've got one that opens that way, one that opens that way. So yeah, lots of different ideas for that one too. So let me go and grab this happy mail. Sorry, Bella, but Megan's reminded me. You go on your bed. Good girl. Lie down. So someone gave us this and I'll tell you what I'm never ever gonna use it oh look at that isn't that the cutest it's a little candle so I'm gonna snip it now in fact because I said to myself I'm snipping that and that is never ever gonna be used <laughs> it's so cute oh, so sweet we received this beautiful card who was this from are oh, they from our friends they're the friends that actually dropped off the little candle. We had some flowers as well that people dropped off, which is just so sweet. Oh, I do think this is the pile of cards of the made ones. We had so many cards this week. It's just so beautiful. From friends, flowers. Oh, they're not the ones that are made cards. Oh, sorry, Megan Lacorny. I don't think I have them. I think they're hiding in Bruno's room somewhere. Let me see. I'll do one last look. Maybe they're on the table. to all the usual spots but they're not there so I'll have to show them next week or oh, it'll be the week after because we won't be here next week but yes they're very beautiful we've got some anniversary cards as well so yeah there'll be a big show and tell in two weeks time <laughs> look at this hair <laughs> I'm like oh, come up here little girl come here come here so thank you so much for being here everyone yes so good to catch up i'm glad i was wearing my um my theme dressing while watching and i hope you have an awesome awesome week we won't see you next week but we will definitely see you the week after and little belly belly wants cuddles now so it's time for cuddle time today actually feels like the first time i've noticed a difference in her she's been really good up to today she had her first day on couple of days ago on her own and she actually did really good but yeah I think she's I think she's realizing that there's something different around here um but yeah we'll get there she'll adjust won't you little girl mm -hmm. yeah you'll adjust you'll figure it out yeah poor little thing so good to see you all oh thank you Megan I did try. <laughs> I don't know where they are. There's so many different places they could be. Since online staffing retreat, we had a, a week's Bible course. We went to Sydney. Like this, it's chaos. The house is absolute chaos. So we're looking forward to getting on top of that before we go away. That's the goal. Do a bit of a tidy tidy before we go and then just really enjoy our time out. Go for some swims and walks along the beach, fish and chips. Yay! <laughs> Lots of enjoyment. So thank you so much for all your love, everyone. And please know we're thinking of you all. I know everyone's going through something tough at the moment. And we really think of you often and pray for you all because we know that there's a lot going on around the world with everyone. Um, so big hugs to you all. And I hope that we've inspired you today, taken you out of this craziness of the, of the world and just... Sometimes it's nice to be in a bit of a la-la land for an hour or two. <laughs>
So thank you very much and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye everyone. Big hugs. Bye from Bella. Bye. See you little girl. <laughs> Bye.